to give you the legal edge. For this week's segment, I spoke to attorney Brian Waldman from the Sinus Dramus Law Firm about the importance of buying auto insurance, even if you're a great driver, have a great driving record, and never get distracted. If you don't pay into the system, he says it could be a very costly mistake. Hey, Brian. Well, you've been involved with many cases where the driver of a crash, I suspect most of the time they have insurance, but sometimes they don't have insurance. Right. Um, do you think this new law change then to Michigan's auto insurance um, is going to encourage more people to buy insurance and therefore maybe make the roads a little bit safer? You know, the, the logic behind it makes sense, Siobhan, and that was uh, if we give people choices to buy something less than lifetime medical coverage, Insurance is going to be less expensive. That will drive down the cost of insurance and more people will buy insurance. But if you look at the statistics, you know, for example, in the Midwest, uh, the, the state that ranks closest to us in Michigan, roughly 20% of the people without insurance. In Indiana, it's 17%. People don't need to buy any medical coverage. And if they do, the most they ever buy is usually $10,000 worth of medical coverage. But still 17% of the people are uninsured. What should people know if they decide not to insure their car, and then they get out on the road? Well, what they ought to know is, first of all, there's two potential civil claims for people that do insure their car, and you're not going to be able to bring those civil claims if you don't buy insurance. So the first is you get your medical and your wage loss benefits paid under the Michigan No Fault Act. If you don't buy Michigan No Fault insurance, you don't deserve those benefits, you won't receive them. But in addition to that, even if you do nothing wrong as a driver, and the other person runs a red light or is even drunk driving something really reckless, you can't bring a claim against them if you don't buy insurance and participate in the system the way the law requires. What are, what are the criminal penalties for driving without insurance? Well, you're right. In addition to civil penalties, there's criminal penalties. It's a misdemeanor if someone is caught driving without insurance on their vehicle, if they own the vehicle and drive it and don't insure it. Mm -hmm. It's a, a fine of between $200 and $500 but also up to a year in prison. And then what advice do you have? What can people do to protect themselves if there are people driving without insurance? Yeah, that's really important because Siobhan, in my experience, the people who drive without insurance are also the most irresponsible drivers. So if you want to protect yourself, you should ask your aid insurance agent to add something called uninsured motorist coverage to your policy you're effectively buying insurance to protect only you if the person who harms you is uninsured. It's very cost effective and very important in my opinion. And gives you some peace of mind. All right, thank you so much, Brian. We appreciate you as always for giving us the legal edge.